Are you thinking of moving to the Issaquah area, but you just don't know anything about it or where to start? Well, this video, I'm doing a walking vlog tour of downtown Issaquah. Hey everybody, my name is Tova Williamson and on this channel I shoot tons of videos of what it's like to live in the Seattle metro area. So if those are videos you want more of, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes on. We get reach outs every day from people moving to the area. We absolutely love hearing from you. We love helping, but we can't help unless you call. So give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you're moving to Seattle. So I am in downtown Issaquah today, a little kind of windy, cold day, typical winter day. Um, we're at Depot Park right behind me. This is a depot, train depot museum, which is really cool. So you can see all the trains behind me. So yeah, this is Old Town Issaquah. It's a really, really cute, charming downtown area. Super walkable, a lot of restaurants, different parks, things going on. So we're gonna walk down the street a little bit just so you can get a sense of what the area is like. And if you can see behind me, they're just really old, cool buildings. It reminds me of like the Wild West, like old saloon type of stuff. It's really charming down here. Super cute. It sits just south of I-90. Issaquah spans up. There's North Issaquah that goes north of I-90. There's Issaquah Highlands, which I'll go tour a little later. You can see just super charming, cute. We've got different restaurants, cute little saloon, yogurt shops. So Issaquah is a suburb of Seattle and it's gotten really popular over the last couple of years just for, it's got really great schools and really great safety ratings. So that has brought a lot of people to the area. Again, cut down there, you've got the little train depot. But it's a super, super charming downtown. So a lot of people, the area's become really popular and a lot of people have moved here. And as a result, the home prices have gone up quite a bit, but it's still just a really nice, desirable area to be. Tons of people are moving here and you can see why. I mean, this downtown is just like super, super charming. And we even have like some older houses here. But it's super charming little area. And so next up to after we walk around down here, we're going to just drive around some of the neighborhoods so that you can see the type of homes that you get here. Um, there's a good mix of condos townhouses, single family homes. There's a lot of uh, housing, like neighborhood communities that are more like up on the hills. And so you can get really good views of the mountains and everything. Um, one of the draws to Issaquah is that it is close to Snoqualmie and close to the mountains. So you pop on I-90, you're like 10, 15 minutes from great hiking trails, mountains, outdoors. So people that are really into the outdoors, this is just like a really desirable place to be. And then it's also the commute into Seattle. I mean, it's not great. It's probably a good 30, 45 minutes, but it's just a straight shot on I-90, which is nice. I-90 is a little bit bigger of a freeway. So oh, it's really cold today. Um, so you don't get as bad a traffic as like if you're driving on I-5. And if you can kind of see just the mountain tops up there with the um, clouds, it's pretty cloudy so you don't get to see the beautiful views today. Um, but this is kind of a typical day in the area so you gotta get used to the windy, gray, cold weather. And then when it's sunny, it's absolutely beautiful. So we just get kind of a look at the train tracks back here this depot museum and then next up we're going to go cruise some of the neighborhoods so that you can see what the different styles of housing and living is. So this is the road just outside of Old Town where I just was. You can see it's very treed. We're just going up the hill so the downtown area kind of sits down below and then the hills around is where a lot of the housing is. You can see just how green it is around here. So up around in this neighborhood is around here. A lot of these were built in like the 50s, 
areas of the old town part of Issaquah, but this is a newer community that was built. Um, it's really popular. There's a ton of different houses around here, a ton of restaurants, shops, um, coffee, salons, pretty much everything you need. It's all very self-contained. So if you live in the area, you're besides working, um, you can pretty much have everything that you need in the area. One thing to note is the Issaquah Highlands is, it has two HOAs. So the Highlands itself, the community has an HOA and then also the, each individual unit that you live in will have an HOA. So just kind of cruising through the downtown part of the Highlands to get an idea. Very walkable, you've got your sidewalks. It's a very quiet, quaint community. Um, there's a few different condo and townhouse units within the kind of downtown area that you'll see that make it just really walkable. And then as you go up the hill, which we will do later, you'll see a lot more homes. There's single family and townhouse and condos and apartments. So there's just a big, big mix of different type of housing here. So there's something for everyone. Cruising through side parks you can just see it's a pretty big area and there's just a ton of different styles of housing and variety. So here are some of the single family style homes in the Issaquah Highlands. You can see they're all really close to each other so the lots here aren't super big they're just trying to pack as many in as possible but it's a really nice quiet community. There's parks, there's shopping, everything that you need in this area. And a lot of the homes were built like 2000s and even now there's a lot of new construction coming up. But they all look like the craftsman style. A lot of them they're trying to kind of mimic that older style that's really popular. Got some parks over here that's just all part of living in the highlands. So we are going back down the hill and you can see here more single family homes and in the Issaquah Highlands you're going to be paying two HOAs. You've got the Highlands community as a whole. They charge an HOA. I believe it's quarterly that you pay that and then each individual housing complex is going to have their own separate HOA. So you'll be paying two HOAs in this area in the Issaquah Highlands. So in this area as well, you're going to be looking mostly at newer construction homes or new wish within the 2000s. Nothing here is old. Um, there's Old Town Issaquah, which has some older type of homes, but this is what you've got in the Highlands. And then some of these are more like condo units or townhouses that are all in separate individual units. And so we're coming up just to be able to see, this is why they call it the Highlands because we sit up above here and you have great views when it's not cloudy. You have really amazing views of like the mountains and the city below. So most of the homes kind of have a traditional look to them even though they've been built um, within this century. They do kind of try to make them look like the older craftsman style that's just really popular in this area. So we're coming down the hill. You can see it's all sidewalks. It's all very walkable, the whole area. Um, and then we're coming down the hill and into the town center, more the Issaquah town center that's got all your shopping, coffee, everything that you could want. And right now it's kind of a great day, but normally it's just Apartments over here, apartments or condos. So you get a mix. You get a mix of condo living or single family homes. But again, like I said, the single family homes here are on really small lots. They're just packed in. So if you're wanting a lot of wide open space, Issaquah Highlands is not going to be the place that offers that. But it does offer just a really quaint, nice little community. And there's tons of just little offshoots of housing communities within the highlands that offer more walkability or ones that are further up on the hill that are a little bit more private. So these are all little townhouses. And these are even more walkable than you're just like right here into the town area where you've got some different restaurants, sushi, they've got a movie theater down here. Stores, most of the big box stores, there's a Marshalls, there's a um, Safeway here, you've got a Regal Cinemas right here, Starbucks, BevMo, pretty much everything you need. 
park and ride. You can see, I probably can't read that sign, but so there is park and ride here where you can park and then ride into Seattle for commuting. We've got some salons, spas, sushi. Issaquah Highlands, which has like just a mix of condos, townhouses, single family. And then we've got Montreux here and other communities like it that are just some larger communities. This one is, was mostly built up like in the 90s, 80s, 90s. But out here you'll find much larger homes, probably like 2,000 plus square feet. The lots tend to be a little bit smaller and then a lot of these type of communities will have HOAs, just small ones, usually that covers like all of, you see all of this grass and everything around. So it's just kind of keeping up with that common area maintenance within the community. So we're just going up a hill here. We will get to some homes soon, but this community, especially we've got Lake Sammamish that sits just um, north of it. So some of these homes you can get some if not, you're going to have some pretty good mountain views too on some of these. So Montreux's got a bunch of different type of homes. So this is more of an apartment type community. Here. And then we've got some single family homes. So here we've got, this is like the ridge at Montreux. So again, you're going to see some of these large, large houses with three car garages usually, but they're all pretty decent size, kind of built somewhere between like the 90s, early 2000s. Some have been updated, some have not. So just to give you an idea of the different styles of homes, um, you'll find a lot of these type of communities all throughout Issaquah with that type of home. So. So moving to a new area can be tough, especially if you don't know anything about it. But that's why we're here. We'd love to help you. We'd love hearing from you guys. So give us a call, email, text. We got your back. We're to Seattle.